Okay. Here's what we got. I got two. Uh, M620s or G510s, whatever you want to call it. This one here has metal shavings all through it. I got the motor give to me. And whoever I got this motor from, I don't know why they chopped the harness right in two like that. But crossing my fingers, I'm hoping this controller is still good. Because my controller is bad. So, what I'm going to try to do here, I'm going to try to swap them out and test it and see if I can get lucky when it comes to the controllers. Well, on this particular controller, because this controller, with shipping and everything, I found it to be uh, right close to $200 for this controller and you have to have the it's called the C5 no no C961 yeah DPC 961 display in order to program the torque sensor torque sensor to the controller itself so for my testing purposes, I'm going to use the same original controller in the original motor and hope it's good. That's what I'm hoping for. But in order to do that, I need to remove the daughter board here, which unplugs. So I can take my daughter board out of mine which I don't know something blew up on this when the last tested it, it just it just it just ignited <laughs> is what happened uh. and luckily these all unplugged that's the lucky part you know I thought I was gonna have to like splice all these wires and stuff together uh, just just to be able to test this controller and it happens to be everything just plugs in I wish I could remove part of the harness from it because you know I don't use the the lighting the lights output on the controller on the bike because I the lights that I have on the on the bike have their own batteries so I don't really need it. Ooh, this is a toughy one. Ooh, that one doesn't want to come out. Hmm. What if I plugged it into the wrong one? No, you can't. Oh, damn. Uh. This is a this way of getting this thing out. Hmm. Plug is like super close together. Wow. I wonder if that's how I buggered it up last time. Huh. Because this one unplugged quite easily. This one here. And that one. Hmm. Huh. They're different. Mm. 
six, six, and six, six, four, and six. Call sensor, call sensor, battery, BT. These are all labeled. This one have this motor has an extra jack on it that this motor does not have. Huh, interesting. Very interesting. So this harness is a little bit different. Which doesn't quite make sense. Huh, interesting. I want that unplugged. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. Okay, where's my... Oh, there's my other screw. Where's the other plastic screw? Has these little plastic screws to hold the daughter board in. So, this one here... I wonder, in order to get those extra features, I wonder if they have... So here's the two daughter boards. G510, they're labeled both G510s. Version 1.5, version 2. So the so they must have improved it somewhat. So this motor is version 1.5. This one is version 1. Point, uh, is 2.0. Does it use the same MOSFETs and everything? The bar and everything? Looks like it does. Yeah, this one goes around that side. This one goes around that side. Wow, that's interesting how they're uh, wired differently. Hmm. It's interesting. Okay, this is the blue wire. I'm going to try just the daughter board. Is the main board the same or not? Version 1.5. Hmm. Interesting. How they have it. Huh. That's very interesting. Yellow is the center and green is the other one. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. This one blue, and I think that DZ41 display torch this controller. The display itself was bad. There. Okay, the ground connects there. This is the ground. So I wonder what isn't being used The ground and the hot screws are different screws than the rest of it.
Huh. Hmm. See, this one is run on this side of it, the power, rather than around the outside. It's interesting. Yeah. Okay, there's the harness, the old harness that they chopped off. Okay, uh, so I'll get mine taken out. Oh, no. See, they have this the power and the ground run around the outside. But on the other one, they don't. These plastic standoffs screwed in. Yeah, they are I'm screwed into the base. Yeah. So I have to get that one out too. Don't be prepared needle bones for that. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I can use a little Torx to unscrew it. Yeah, yeah, a little torch will work. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now that should come out, I hope. Oh, one more screw. Oh. Oh, these are pretty tight. I didn't realize I tightened them up that much. Okay, now. See, they got them on a, just a plain aluminum plate. Hmm. Okay, this is my original. I think. No, this is the original. Yeah, this is the original. I'm wondering if I should try to use the original... But one of them has a blown circuit on it. But what blew? I can't visually see anything. It might have blown. Because I don't know which one plugs for the display. There's the main power. I don't know. So I better use the one that came with it. I'm wondering why the new one uses a different harness. Uses a smaller harness than the other one. I'm wondering why. Oh, they're using the whole one hold down screw as the ground screw rather than a separate one. That's what they're doing. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Oh. Oh, I don't really need to take it out of this. Take his bottom piece out. Uh, just need to take the harness out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now... The way these were run, okay, okay, the way this was run, okay, it was put in here like this, 
But the way these power and ground were run was behind the capstans. These two capstans. Yeah. Was behind the two capstans. Okay. So the ground I can go ahead and put in. Because the ground runs behind this capstan like it normally did. But the way they had this power, they had it running in front of the capacitors. And folded back on itself. Hmm. Interesting. Because originally they had it running around like that. I wonder if that pinched the hot line straight to ground at one time. I wonder if it did. And that's what blew. But I don't see any arcing on this piece, though. I don't see any arcing on it. Don't see any arcing on it. Okay, let's put the uh, positive wire in. How is it supposed to... See, I don't get how the positive wire is supposed to connect if it screws directly into the chassis like the... I don't get that. I don't get that. I really don't get it. Okay, if it screws in to the chassis... It's got to be a specialized screw that holds it in. It's got to be. Because that would be a direct short to ground. I don't get it. But I don't see anything special about these screws. At all. Ooh, that that uh, that don't look good. So how does this connect if it screws into the same base? Yeah, there's where it blew, right there. Now you can see the damage, right there. That's what blew. Yeah. See, I don't get, I didn't see anything special about the different screws, though. That's what I don't see. I see the standoffs for the other screws. I see the standoffs. It's got to be these ones. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. There is a difference in the screws. Okay. Right here. They have a standoff on them. Maybe I messed up my controller. Oh, boy. Being a dummy. Not paying attention to the screws I used. Because this screw has a standoff. Uh, plastic insulator on it. That should screw in there. What is in the screw with there? Oh, come on now. What is in the screw in there? There it goes. Okay. Now this has a standoff. That holds the hot in place. So I wonder if the. There. Because both of them. I'm wondering if this. Ground screw is supposed to be. Like that. 
one. So I might, yeah, I might have blown that. That controller might have been good. And I messed it up. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I think I messed the controller up. I think I did. I think I messed the controller up. Because I don't... No, I, I remember the, sc the screws being different from the, the hold down screws compared to the actual power and phase lines. The screws were different. Okay, now the way they had this one on this controller, they had this down and fished like that. That's how they had uh, the power. Strange they would have it that way. But that's okay. Okay, here's this one. Use the regular screw. This one right here. That's a very good possibility. I messed my own controller up. Bummer. Ah, just like anything else, you learn from your experiences. Okay, that was the... So, I wonder if I could repair that PCB board. It might survive. Definitely worth a try. Absolutely is worth a try. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, got all the screws in. Ground hot. The phase lines I didn't take off. Because I didn't understand why they ran them differently from the other controller. It didn't make sense. Now. I'll bet you. Let's see if we can get this on there. But I'm trying to figure out what the extra ones are for. The extra plugs. That, that's definitely not plugged in right. Holes don't line up. Are we looking over here? There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, the little two little plastic screws. There. Ah, come on, you little screw. So, we might get lucky. I'm still trying to figure out what the extra lines are. They did away with on version... Two. I think this motor's out of a Saunders. I wonder if they locked the controller down. I wonder if they did. I wonder if they locked the controller down. Because I think this is a Saunders motor. Yes, it is. As you can see, it's a Saunders motor. But it's still the same uh, G510 or, you know, M620 motor. So I wonder, did they lock down the controller? I wonder if they did. Okay, there's only one 8-pin one. This is a 6. There's the 8-pin. Okay. thing about it is you don't know which one is which 
Well, this one is obvious. That's obvious. Uh, here, the main 8-pin one, okay, they say exactly what they are. Ah, okay, where's the original harness at? Okay. Well, there's only one 8-pin one, so it can only go one spot. Okay. See, blue, red, and black. Blue, red, and black. Here's the eight pin. Okay. That's that one. That's that one. Okay. They had a four pin. Mine had a four pin. Okay, power. Oh, they have them in different locations, I see. Okay, power is a six pin. Power is one of the six pins, okay. Power is the six pin. Where's the four pin go? Four pin, oh, okay. Four pin goes to the battery. Which one's the battery? BT. That must be it there in the middle. Because it says BT. Hall sensor is over here. Hall sensor is the same location. So that would be... One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the eight. Hall sensor would be... Six pin. Hmm. Huh. Oh, but they're only using two. Two of the pins. Yeah. They're only using two of the pins. No, they're only using four of the pins. Yeah. Huh, interesting. That's got to be the hall sensor. Okay, which one's the battery? Okay, this is a six pin. Uh oh, I think I made a boo boo here. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I should have paid attention to how I took this apart. Uh huh. Should have paid attention. Um. Well, the one you can't get it wrong. That one is the main e-bus, e-bus control. That's this one here. That's the 8-pin. I wonder if I can use this, this one here on this. You know? That's absolutely worth a try. Because the main board is the same. Pin here is the same. And it doesn't look like there's any damage to this board at all. To the daughter board. But this daughter board is designed for this harness. I wonder if these are labeled. R E F I on the yellow tag. R E F A. Are they labeled in any way? 
I don't see any other writing on them, except for the bands. RSFI. Okay, what's this one? Does this one say anything on it? They purposely wonder if I should uh, see if. Okay, now this one is called uh, E24. It says on the wire. Hmm, interesting. Not sure. Uh, is it worth the gamble? Well. I don't have a good controller, for one thing. That's obvious this one is blown on the main board. Right there at the positive, too. And I know exactly what I did. I just have a feeling I blew the MOSFET because I used the wrong screw and it was a dead short to ground. So when I connected the battery, it just instantly blew. That's a very good possibility that I did it. Hopefully I'll learn from my mistakes. But this here, see the one you can get it wrong. But I want to make sure I get the battery connector right though. Okay. These ones here on my bike are not used at all. Only these two are used. One is for the speed sensor. Uh, yeah, the speed sensor. And, uh, okay, this is the hall sensor, which is a six pin. Yep, right there. That's the hall sensor. Uh, okay, uh, no, no, that's torque sensor. So which one is that? It's a six pin. It's got to be that one then. If I use this one here, LJ. Ah, oh, man, my neck. Where's my, oh, there it is. LJ. It's labeled. Okay, the eight pin is the E-Bus. See, the power on this one is a six pin. SPD, speed sensor. That's a six pin. So that's got to be this one here. Okay. Okay, let's cut this little wire tie here. See which one is which. Speed sensor is a six pin on my original. Hall sensor is also a six pin. That's the torque sensor. Oh, there's the hall sensor right there. Okay. Hall sensor, torque sensor. Okay. Okay. Yuma control. Which one's the Yuma control? BT. That must be, that's got to be battery. CR. See, this one's labeled battery way up here on the top on mine. The four pin. Like this, right here. It goes way up there. That's got to be the battery one. But the battery on this one is labeled there. In the middle. <clears throat> well, I don't know if I can do this or not. I might have to look up uh, the layout of this board and the way the harness goes. I do have a third one of these motors. 
I could take it apart and just look at it and see which way it's set up. Maybe I'll have to do that. Yeah, I might have to do that. Yeah. Okay, so I'll pause this video until I can figure this out because I don't want to torch this if I don't have to. I don't want to take a chance of torching uh, this controller if it's good. Okay, talk to you later. Well, getting back to this thing, kind of figured out what's been going on with it uh, after a little more research. Uh, I found out the reason why the harness is different. This is a UART bus, needs meaning um, you, you can actually program it. Uh, being that this is a Saunders motor, they went to the CAN bus, which means it can't be programmed yet. Yet. Uh, I'm going to look into uh, trying to crack the, the code on the CAN bus uh, port as well, to, so I can unlock the potential of the motor like, uh, like you're doing the UART uh, controller. Uh, and uh, the daughter boards are completely different from each other. Uh, the main boards are almost identical. Um, just uh, the um, CAN bus has an extra two pins on the daughter boards, uh, which the UART does not have. So uh, it's, it's a kind of a lost cause at this point. Uh, I can get a new harness for this CAN bus, but I really don't want to because uh, there's no way of programming the controller to your settings the way you want it set. You have to uh, accept being in this case, this is off of a Saunders bike, obviously, because it says Saunders right inside of the motor that uh, whatever setting factory settings they have set, you're stuck with them. You can't do anything more, more about it yet. But, uh, you know, the, when the CAN bus came out in 2021, uh, I'm sure uh, a few other people have uh, been working on uh, trying to get the CAN bus to, to program. I got to get a hold of one of the cam, uh, programming cables for the CAN bus. So I'm going to try to work on... Uh, programming it maybe i should just go ahead and buy a harness because they're only like uh 15 for a whole harness so you know for a can bus harness so maybe i'll go ahead and do that in the meantime i'll go ahead and try to uh fix this uh main board on my uart controller i got uh two of these motors two of these uart motors Neither one of them are working. The display, the DZ41 display, has no voltage protection on an, on the main line, and uh, the display was bad. Must have had a dead short in the display internally, because it took out both controllers. When I plugged up the display to the bike, it just instantly sparked and just took the controller right out. I haven't taken uh, that motor apart yet, but uh, I got the bike right here, ready to take it apart. Uh, I got to take the motor off the bike and uh, see what I can do with it. But this for now is on hold. Uh, I'm going to try to get a hold of a cable, uh, CAN bus cable, programming cable, if they're uh, available yet. I'm sure someone's already made one for them. Uh, the UR cables are only 20 bucks. For the UART programming cable, uh, so I'm sure the someone has already made a cable uh, for the CAN bus. So we just got to figure out, uh, you know, who has them or if they're even available. So, um, well, this kind of uh, puts this on hold for now. But uh, according to what the research that I found, this is a CAN bus uh, controller. So that kind of ends it right there. Kind of sucks, but 
what can you do? Well, you give your best and uh, keep on going. But I do have a good solid motor core out of the deal. You know, the guy gave me, so uh, the motor and everything all checks out. Uh, you know, I checked the resistance and everything on the lines. Uh, it absolutely checks out. So the motor core and everything is all good. Uh, it's just this here. So we'll figure it out. All right. I hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.